Hello there. Welcome to Genius Pro Zambia Science Desk. On the board, I have a 2024 Science Paper 2 BCE exam. The question reads Large petroleum molecules undergo cracking to produce smaller molecules which are more useful. What would, uh, what would be product X? when hydrocarbon C20 H42 is cracked according to the following reaction. So we have the reaction here, the chemical formula telling us that C20 H42 uh, undergo cracking. This is the process there. Then this, these were the products. So we need to understand what is happening. First of all, we need to understand what the term cracking is. Well, cracking, um, it is one of the chemical properties of our chem to start with. Cracking is just a process whereby large hydrocarbons um, are split or are broken down into smaller hydrocarbons. This is um, you see, these are large hydrocarbons. Remember, it is one of the chemical reactions of alkanes. So alkanes undergo cracking. So it is an alkane which is being split out or which is being broken. If it goes, if it undergoes cracking, it will now produce this hydrocarbon X plus another hydrocarbon Y. What are these X? What are these X and Y? I might say X can be the alkene and Y can be the alkene. Or X can be the alkene and Y can be the alkene. So when cracking occurs, two uh, types of hydrocarbons are produced. One is an alkene, another one is an alkene. But I'm sure according to this question, uh, we're not bothered to, to identify which, is one, which one is an alkene or which one is an alkene. So, here are the options. A, uh, as you can see there, but how can you deduce uh, the, the hydrocarbon X? So, to start with, we need to understand what is happening. This hydrocarbon, which is an alkane, uh, was cracked or uh, was being broken down into something like that. Remember, we're not even, uh, it's, it's not even important to do this question to identify what this is. All we need to know is the chemical formula of X. So what happened, what you need to do is that from the 20, uh, we have 20 carbons there, here we have four. Meaning that what is remaining or what is missing is, uh, I may say, 16 there. But remember, notice, this is not really the final answer. Get me and follow me uh, very, very, very carefully. It is remaining with 16 because 20 minus four are having 16 carbons. Then another 42 minus 10, I need to have something like this. This was supposed to be our answer for X. But students, look at this question. This question is fully balanced. We have the two there. Remember what this two is. It is saying that the two was multiplying this thing. So meaning that if I was to, to put a 2 there, then 2 by this, it would be a 16. S I mean, S64. Uh, uh, F82. F82 plus this, it cannot give me the 20 there. So what I'm supposed to do is, since I'm having the 2, everything is more being multiplied by 2. Remember, when I add everything there to what is there, I need to have these suffix. So what I'm, I'm supposed to do, since it's multiplying by 2, I need to divide these two by two. So I'm sure I were even able to tell that this x is just by is just this uh, six, uh, I mean eight carbons and uh, 16 uh, hydrogens. So this x was this is the formula or the chemical formula of this hydrocarbon x. So meaning that our final answer is C in this question. Going to the table, the question B9, the table shows some of the fractions of hydrocarbons obtained from crude oil. 
So, understanding this table, what we need to understand is what is happening. These degrees, these temperatures were obtained um, after when, um, when, when obtaining uh, these hydrocarbons that are obtained from the crude oil, meaning that they were uh, passed through the, fractu the fracturating column. So, this A is represented, the, the, the letters A, they are presenting the fractions. So, on the phase number one, A, we had 20 to 60 degrees, as you can see, all through up to 360 degrees. The question says, what fraction, or, uh, what fraction contains the largest chain given, uh, sorry, what, what fraction contains the longest, uh, sorry, the largest chain? Well, students, all you need to do is by knowing what, uh, uh, what the number of carbons uh, determine, if they are smaller, what does it mean? If they are uh, longest uh, carbon chain, what does it mean? Uh, using this, we need to know that the number of carbons can easily tell you the boiling point, how, the boil, how high and how low the boiling point is. So if the number of carbon atoms uh, is much higher or is big, meaning that we are going to have uh, the big or higher boiling point. So according to this point, we have been able to tell since the temperature, the, the, the largest temperature is at D, meaning that the fraction which have the longest uh, number of carbon or the carbon chain is none other than part D or fraction D. You answered that question. Giving me the, a reason for, for your answer because um, it has the longest number of carbon chain or it, has, uh, it, it, uh, it is a part or a fraction with the, the longest uh, carbon chain. Remember, carbon determine the temperature also, the boiling point in short. B, they can C10, H22, can be cracked to produce hexane. Hexane, so this is, this is the chemical formula of hexane. And one another hydrocarbon T. Before you even go any further, you need to know what this. Remember, all members of our chain, they end with this, a name. So this hexane is an alkane. Remember, cracking one of the products is a one, well, one of the products is an alkane and the other one is an alkene. So since it's this is an alkene, meaning that another hydro, hydrocarbon T, this means that it is an alkene. So we have an alkene. All we need to do, let's write the formula. What is happening? Again, we have C10, H22, uh, cracking there, then we had this. C6, H, now the T, plus the T. Remember, remember, hmm. so remember the T is an alkene. To answer the first question, deduce the chemical formula of T. So to deduce the chemical formula of T, all you need to do is, mean, well, we are trying to do is to subtract 6 from 10, meaning that we are going to have 4 carbons. Then uh, 14 from 22, we are going to have <clears throat> 8 hydrogens. So this is the chemical formula of T. And so you are done. Draw the displayed structure formula of T. Draw the displayed structure formula of T. Well students, remember again that this T is an alkene and alkenes have a double bond. They are unsaturated hydrocarbons, meaning that they have a double bond. So all we need to do is to write something like this. We know what is happening. Remember that they have a double bond. This is a double bond. Like that. I need to have four C's. Then I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then eight there. I'm sure I have four C's and eight H's. So this is uh, the displayed structure formula of this T. Should you be uh, asked to find to, to name this uh, this uh, this hydrocarbon T? Well, students, this is butene. So 
would you expect hydrocarbon tea to undergo polymer, uh, polymerization? Explain your answer. This is very much, very much simple. This uh, hydrocarbon tea, yes, indeed, it can, it can undergo polymerization. Why? Because number one, the presence of uh, the double bond there, and also it also means that uh, it is an unsaturated hydrocarbon. So yes, of course, it can undergo polymerization. So this uh, was the answer to question number uh, A19 and question B9. So thank you very much. Have a very good day.